Behind me, as you can see, are uh, some small shelters where people are living. And these people have been here for some time now, and they have uh, talked to us and told us how difficult things are for them. But the Lord put on our hearts that we come and minister to them. And one of the uh, days we came and we met with them, and last week we had time to share the word of God with them. And many of them gave their lives to Christ, and they are committed to following Christ. They have a joy in their hearts just because of receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We have also seen that they are facing difficulties as uh, many people are staying in these tents and they, many of them are torn. Uh, they are saying that it's very cold inside and sometimes even snakes come and they have killed a number of snakes here. There has, uh, there's a danger of even some children being bitten by snakes. Because what where we here we are having a difficult time. Even the tents that we're sleeping in. And this area is very cold. It's very, very cold here. Our children, our children are not going to school. Because of money. Even water to drink. Yeah. Sometimes we go to try and fetch some water in some of the wells around, but it dries up. Sometimes when we go to, the, to other stands or other houses to look for water, they ask us for money, but we do not have that money. Even food. We do not have food to eat, we do not have even maize. Sometimes we go to people's fields to look for leftover maize so that we can have something to eat. We do not have food to eat, we do not have to Sometimes we do not have money to buy even vegetables to eat and we sleep without having anything, any meal at, at night. We hope we are going to be helped, our children don't have even clothes to wear, even uniforms. Um, looking at this old woman here, one of the days when we arrived, she was coming from a bathroom. And imagine there is no place like a bathroom here. There, she was actually coming from a bush where she was taking care of herself. And a little girl, 12 year old, was helping her. She cannot even walk on her own because she is sick. She's not feeling well. She needs help. And um, we appeal to anybody who is watching right now to come forward and uh, help people like her because the Lord, the Bible says, people like her are on the heart of the Lord. She's a widow, she, do not, she doesn't have anybody to take care of her. And some of the young people who are here, some young children who are playing here, they do not have any place to go to. That they, they don't have any school to, to attend because their parents cannot afford to take them to school. But we pray that the Lord helps them, the Lord touches their lives, the Lord lifts them up even by giving them food and clothes to wear. And I know and I believe this, when these things do happen, they are going to see the glory of God. They are going to believe that God is real and God loves them. As Zimbabwe for Jesus, we want to say thank you so much to Miracle Missions for being uh, there for these people and uh, the people as they receive what they received today. Uh, they received food, uh, bags, they have received blankets, they have received clothes to wear and I uh, would like to, on behalf of the people, say thank you to Miracle Missions for doing such a wonderful thing. May the Lord continue to bless you for doing such a wonderful thing. Thank you so much. I want to thank them for a great love. May this kind of love continue to be uh, extended.
We expect God to do mighty many things through the people that He sent to us. May the Lord bless you, even those people who have helped us who are not here. And we want to thank God for uh, causing us to meet his messengers that we have today. Thank you so much in Jesus' name.